mom was a art teacher when I was a kid and so she used to take me to her classes with her when I was a toddler and uh, so and I used to do the exercises with the other kids in the class and so I've been painting and drawing like as long as I can remember and it's all I all I really remember it's all I ever really wanted to do. This is how I got into this space was I came up here when I was in high school and college and and I I loved coming here and seeing the artwork in Winston and I, I loved the the arts and the community, the the music and the, the visual arts and uh, one day I worked up the courage to come in and ask Millicent at Urban if she would give me a show and she's like, Yeah, just bring some stuff and I brought some stuff and 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 uh, she liked it and she started showing me and that's how I got into Winston was, was Millicent. And she was really good for me. She was, she sh I sh I've been showing in this space ever since. Um, and uh, she mentored me, she gave me guidance. She, um, she helped me mature with both my artwork and also with with showing, with being a, a public artist, with selling my artwork and with dealing with the public and with, cause uh, you know, like most artists, I was kind of a shy, quiet kid and now I'm um, pretty obnoxious. Um, but, <laughs> be true to yourself, to be true to your voice, like, you can do things, you know, there are, peop there are people who do art because they know it sells, but that's not being true to their voice and being true to their art, and those people are going to make money, and there's going to be a place for them because the people who are buying it don't know any better. <laughs> There are brilliant artists who are using like the cheapest paint and the cheapest brushes and do amazing work and there are bums with no talent who use the best the best art the best paint they can buy and the best brushes and it still looks like crap. Like to me, like I use acrylic and I use pretty you know, fairly cheap brushes. In the scheme of things, of does money. I mean, what what do you do your art for, and do you do it for the money? Do you do it for the love of it? I've always done it. It's always like it really was my first love. But the money side of it, and what are you doing it for, and what is it worth? Like, my dad passed away a year and a half ago. And the the absolute last conversation, like he never really cared about art, and never really cared about what I was doing, and never really, or at least never verbalized that to me. Never was like, you know, never really talked about about it. Like we just didn't talk about. It. Um, but the literally the last conversation I had with him before he died, he didn't know he was dying when when we had the conversation. Um, but he was in the hospital and it was right before they put him on the respirator and he couldn't talk anymore. Um, but he told me he was really proud of me and all the things I did with my art and the gallery and everything. So it was like, that's enough for me. You know, my dad was proud of me before. I made my dad proud. So do I care about the money? Not really. Do I care about who knows me, where I show, not really, like that was, that was more important to me than anything else I'll ever do, you know, so.
So, you know, I think that that the feeling of that, like when I when I see these artists that I deal with who are just looking to try and cash in, or they're looking to be recognized, like it really doesn't mean that much. Like in the end. My dad passed away last, uh, two New Year's Eves ago, and, um, his whole life he did puzzles and loved doing number puzzles and everything, um, and he was working on one, uh, while he was in the hospital, um, the last puzzle that he did, uh, was, I mean, towards the end he was losing control of his, his motor function and his hands, and, and so the, the puzzle, it, it kind of started when he was still all right and slowly descended into kind of a scribbled kind of thing where he was not able to, to really focus. Um, and that's the last puzzle he did and, and I found it in the hospital after he passed away actually and, and I saw it and it, I really loved it. It was really beautiful to me. Um, as, as a piece of art and and also haunting but still just hauntingly beautiful um, so this whole series of work is based on that last puzzle uh, everything is a detail of that last puzzle um, and to me the work is about about losing him about the tragedy of that and about life after that and trying to make sense of things and trying to find a find my way trying to find some order in the chaos after that you know, it's just it's about me and my life in the last year and a half or so